Kyle Erickson here. Lately, I've been trying to find the best gear for productivity. You may have seen my video a few weeks ago comparing keyboards. And since that time, I've been on the hunt to find the best mouse for my workflow. And that is why we're here today. I've had the opportunity to try out a bunch of different mice, different sizes, shapes, and features, ultimately with the goal of finding something that I can use for a full day that's comfortable and that's going to fit into my workflow nicely. Part of why I started looking for a new mouse was because I'd been using this Apple Magic mouse with one of my machines, and I just couldn't take it anymore. I know a lot of people like these things, and I was wondering if I just wasn't giving it a fair shake at first when I disliked it, but it ended up giving me some wrist pain and the tracking and latency specs on these just aren't great. So I tossed that out of the equation and my journey ended up with these two mice here, the Razer Pro Click and the Logitech MX Master 3. Now these are both geared towards productivity and they're relatively the same price, hovering around $100. And there is a lot to like about each one of these. Uh, some reasons are the same and some are not, so I do really think it's worth taking note of what makes each of these great and how that relates to how you use your mouse. Out of these two, the one that I've been using the longest is the Razer Pro Click. It's got an ergonomic design, it's 5 inches in length, 3.1 inches wide and 1.9 inches tall, so it is a full-size mouse. It has a matte white finish and a rubber textured grip along the sides with a chrome trim around the edges. You have standard right and left mouse buttons, the scroll wheel that also has tilt buttons, a button that changes your sensitivity and has a status light indicator that your battery is getting low, and thumb buttons along the inner side of the mouse where your thumb rests. The Pro Click does have a micro USB charging port, so no USB-C and it's inset in the front of the mouse. Along the bottom, there is an option to switch between wireless and Bluetooth options with the wireless dongle stored in this little hatch. Looking at the Logitech MX Master 3, you have very similar dimensions with it being 4.8 inches in length, two inches tall and 3.3 inches wide. The one that I have here is a matte gray finish, but you can also get this in black and space gray if you get the Mac version, which you may not want to do, and I will get into that in a minute. Beyond the left and right mouse buttons, there is a scroll wheel with a mode shift button just below that to change between smooth and step scrolling. There is a thumb wheel on the inside of the mouse with back and forward buttons just under that. And there is also a gesture button where your thumb rests that you can use to perform different actions like switching desktops and bringing up menus. Along the front you've got a USB-C port and along the bottom you have your on and off switch with a button to switch between devices. Now, this does come with a unifying receiver as well, but there isn't anywhere to put it inside the mouse like on the Razer. Now coming back to that Mac version, the only real difference on the Mac version of the MX Master 3 is that it doesn't come with a unifying receiver, and the charging cable I believe has USB-C on the other end versus USB-A. So I do still think it's worth grabbing the regular version in my opinion because using a dongle with wireless mode will work best. Uh, Bluetooth does occasionally have issues on Mac, so it's just something to be aware of there. Overall, both of these models feel great in the hand. They're both quite ergonomic and you can use them both all day without any discomfort. The Razer, I find, does feel a little bit more natural, both just in how it rests in your hand, and I find that the thumb buttons are easier to press than on the Logitech. You do get that thumb wheel on the Logitech, which is an awesome tool for side scrolling, but it just doesn't feel as natural. I also find on rare occasions, I'll right click on the MX Master inadvertently just because of how my hand sits. And I think they may have sacrificed a little bit of feel there for aesthetic. Both mice have a great tactile click when you're hitting the buttons. The scroll wheels also feel very well built and don't have a ton of play in them, which a lot of mice are actually plagued by. The Pro Click only has a stepped or ratchet style scroll option, where the MX Master 3 can switch between stepped and smooth scrolling options by hitting that mode switch just under the scroll wheel. They also have an option called mag speed where you can scroll fast and it will automatically switch between the ratchet and smooth scrolling. Not sure that I'm really a fan of that to be honest, but I do find that the scroll wheel in general does have a touch nicer feel on the Logitech. 
but again, you do have those scroll wheel tilt buttons on the Pro Click, or the Logitech does not. When it comes to movement and tracking, the Razer is a bit easier to move around, as it weighs in at 106 grams versus 141 with the MX Master 3. And in general, the Razer does have a lot more accurate tracking. The Pro Click has higher polling rates, sitting at 1000 hertz, meaning it's reporting its position to the computer 1000 times per second, where the MX Master 3 is polling at 125 hertz. The Pro Click has a max DPI or dots per inch of 16,000, and the MX Master 3 goes up to 4,000, which is still not that bad. Uh, the click latency on the Razer is also at 7 milliseconds wireless, 18 on Bluetooth, with the Logitech being 16 wireless and 21 Bluetooth. Uh, I know all these numbers make it seem like the Pro Click blows the MX Master 3 out of the water, but if we're just talking about productivity, you're probably not going to notice. For reference, the Magic Mouse 2 sits at an abysmal 90 Hz polling, 1300 DPI and 37 milliseconds latency. But what those high numbers do mean on the Razer is it does give a lot of folks out there the opportunity to use this as a gaming mouse as well, so there is some added versatility there. If you are going to be gaming at all, highly likely you're going to be using this with Windows, which is the best operating system to use with the Pro Click. One of the biggest disappointments about the Pro Click is it doesn't have software that works with Mac. If you have a PC, you can download the Razer Synapse 3 app, where you'll have 18 customizable inputs, but that software is not compatible with macOS. I'm not sure why you would design a mouse specifically for productivity and not have software on a Mac, especially since you offer software for Mac with other products, and so many people are using Apple computers in work environments and creative spaces. It seems really silly to me. I am mainly a Mac user, so that's about as deep as I'm going to go into the Razer software. Logitech, on the other hand, does offer a Mac app that works with the MX Master 3, which has up to six programmable inputs. So a bit less there, but it does also have app-specific profiles for graphic and video editing software, office apps, among others, which can be quite handy. And there's some other neat features in there like Logitech Flow that allows you to move your mouse from one device to another, but I've never really felt a need to ever use anything like that. Uh, one issue that I did run into on the app side when I first installed it, I couldn't see my device at all and it wouldn't recognize anything, so I had to go into the security and privacy settings and allow the app in the input monitoring section. Even with that minor issue, it's still definitely a big win over the Pro Click there. Uh, there's some really nice settings in there, but you're likely just going to pop this open once or twice and set it and forget it. Back to the mice themselves, the charging port on the Razer is also kind of unfortunate. It. The Pro Click uses a micro USB, which is kind of dated now, but that's not really even what I'm disappointed about. I could totally live with that if it wasn't recessed way back in the mouse with these notches that make it impossible to use anything else but the proprietary cable. With the MX Master 3 using USB-C and only having a small recessed area, most USB-C cables will work with it, but in any case, it's not a huge deal because you're barely ever going to use these charge cables as the battery life on both of these is great. They do both have internal batteries. The Razer is good for somewhere between 200 and 400 hours, while the MX MX Master 3 is listed to be able to go up to 70 days on a charge. I don't know exactly how on the nose those numbers are. I don't have time to find out. Just know that both last for an extremely long time. You can also use the Razer in wired mode as well, where you can't on the MX Master 3, but you do run the risk of wearing out that cable faster, and I don't think it's really worth it anyway, because the latency is actually higher with the cable than without it. So there is definitely a lot to take in and a lot to think about there, but to summarize, both of these do a really great job. I think overall the Razer Pro Click is more natural feeling and more comfortable, and the buttons are a little bit easier to click. If you're on PC or you're just going to hook this up and not worry about any software or customization, it's really hard to beat. It also has more accurate tracking, so if you're looking for something that's going to be good for gaming as well, this is a fantastic option. On the other hand, if you want something with all the bells and whistles with more buttons and more scroll options, an app that works on Mac with custom app profiles and more modern connections, the Logitech MX Master 3 is a great choice. 
But I will leave links to both of these in the description if you want to check them out. But both are amazing for productivity and you can't go wrong with either. If you want to see more tech related videos, please subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comments below if there's anything that you'd like to see show up here along with any comments or questions that you have on either of these mice. Let's spank that like button if you enjoyed the watch. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you in the next video.